To start, you need to consider everyone's style of communication, but not allow the step to be paralyzed too deeply with long discussions, extensive thinking, or off-topic remarks. In the communication phase, you can begin by handing some items out to everyone. Each individual should have something to write on and something to write with. We like to use a Jamboard because it is easy to facilitate and can be used over and over again. If you're not familiar with this powerful tool, some other options are stickies and markers. You will also need a timer. Once everyone has something to write with and something to write on, you will want to ensure that you have a canvas such as a wall, whiteboard, or even a desk that the stickies can go on once complete. We will discuss more about this in later steps. Before communicating the topic or questions that everyone will focus their thoughts on, it is a good idea to establish a time limit for each of the four stages. For example, if you need to have a quick brainstorming session, then five minute rounds is a good place to start. If you have a little more time than that, 10 minutes may work. Keep in mind that you do not want too long of a session as it is always a good goal to just get started. With that said, your team will need to agree on a time limit for each round. Once this is done, the facilitator will then communicate the topic or question of the brainstorming event. We will use an example to illustrate each phase of the CURE methodology for you. In our example, the question we will work with is, what do we want to have for dinner on Saturday night? Before you move on to the next phase, be sure everyone understands the topic or question you will be addressing. You may want to try the following suggestions. Write the topic or question where everyone can see it, or allow people to write down the topic or question on a sheet of paper as a reminder. After you have communicated with everyone, you are now ready to move on to phase two of the CURE methodology. Understand. We'll see you in the next lecture.